Hey guys, so today I will be reviewing a LEGO Star Wars set. This is Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, set number 75214. Comes with 247 pieces, comes with one minifigure and one astromech droid, and it is recommended for ages 7 to 12, and this came out in summer of 2018. So let's go ahead and start off with that Anakin Skywalker minifigure. So here is Anakin Skywalker, and this is based off of his Clone Wars appearance. But if you look into his eyes, you will see that they are not the funky Clone Wars eyes. They are regular eyes. So this is, I think, our first Anakin uh, like in this style uh, to have the regular eyes. Uh, so that's pretty nice, although it is kind of ruined because he has the headset on, which you can see better if I just tilt his lightsaber. So, first uh, Clone Wars style Anakin that doesn't have the funky eyes, but you can't really use it for anything because he has the headset. So that's kind of disappointing, but it makes sense for the set, and it is a very nice print nonetheless. And the torso is pretty nice. If I lean it back, you can see because my lighting's not that great. But there is the torso. It is, it's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty accurate to the Clone Wars. And the legs do have some printing. There you can see it. I do apologize for my pretty bad lighting. I want to improve that. Uh, on the back of the minifigure, he just has some of his Clone Wars armor. And also more utility belt. So this is based off of Anakin from the earlier seasons of the Clone Wars. Uh, 1 and 2, I believe. So he has the uh, kind of like black chest armor kind of stuff. And I'm not a huge fan of that version of Anakin uh, when it comes to the old style. But um, this one actually looks pretty good because it's not in that blocky Clone Wars style. And if I remove his hairpiece, which is the same one since 2008, you can get a better look at his face. And he does have an alternate face where he is a little angry and stressed out. And he also comes with a standard blue lightsaber. That is really it for Anakin. He is a very nice looking minifigure, I do have to say. I wish that um, one of his faces, though, did not have the headset. So that way you can use this minifigure outside of the Starfighter. But that's a pretty minor complaint to have. This is a pretty nice minifigure. And let's go ahead and move on to R2-D2. So my stand's not really built for astromech droids, so this is going to look a little weird. But this is R2-D2, and this is a version that we've been getting for quite a while now. I think 2014 was the first introduction of this. And it still looks good, which is why they haven't replaced it. Uh, still no printing on the back of the torso, but I guess I really don't know what they would do. And the printing is nice, nice and blue and white and gray, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know what to say about this guy, just since most of you have probably seen him a lot before. There you can get a look at the head print. See if I do this. Will that work better? Yes, it will. Look at that. Mmm. What a new trick. Okay. So, uh, his face print is very nice, like the blue, like the metallic printing on it, ignore the reflection from my single lone light, and he does have some nice coloration on his head. So, overall, very nice little astromech droid figure, but not too much to say about him since he isn't really new, but he is nice nonetheless. Let's go ahead and move on to the Starfighter itself. Here is Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, and this is only the second version um, that we've had of this ship. I want to say it's the Delta but I'm not too confident on that. Let me know in the comments if you know uh, what type of Jedi Starfighter this is. But this is the only, uh, the only, se this is only the second version that we have gotten. Uh, the first one was back in 2008. I do not own that set. Uh, but from pictures that I've seen of the old one, this one is definitely a step up from that. And this piece is not on all the way. I'm just gonna push that down. Okay. So this ship is a very nice design. It's just a gray and yellow's main color scheme, and there are quite a bit of stickers uh, to add some detail to the ship. So you have the uh, sticker here, the Republic emblem. You have two in the middle there, and then one on this side on the wing, and then one here, and then also on the tail fins. So if I open up this cockpit and put Anakin inside, so you do have to remove his lightsaber, and when he is in there, you can see the little control panel. He does have a nice amount of room. I mean, it's not, like, super comfortable, but he does have space. And then underneath, this is something that they were missing with uh, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. But they have fixed with this one. They have the lightsaber clip. It's a very nice, handy little feature. 
And then there's also a spot for R2-D2. Just got to turn his head like so. I just dropped him like so. And then he goes right in there. But actually, I will show you. He is held in by the center, actually. I do believe that is new. And then that is what it looks like with both figures inside. And the sloping on the ship is very nice. I do like it. And I also like the inclusion of the stud shooters. Looks a lot better than the flick missiles. And you can fire these away. We got one that went pretty far the other way. We got two. And then you can just load them back in like so. And then this one goes in right there. And you may have thought to yourself, well, these seem pretty easy to lose. Well, Lego knows that because this is removable and it is storage for two extra little stud, uh, just studs. I don't know. It's going to say stud shooters, but they're not. So that goes back on. You can't even tell they're in there. It's really nice. A really nice little storage feature. Underneath, uh, this is uh, new. I think I didn't get Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, so the build might be pretty similar. Uh, but in the ones that I have, I have a Plo Koon, Stacey Tin, and this. This is the first one that I have seen that uses um, a solid wing connection. The other ones use like a ratchet joint. But uh, please let me know if Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter is built like this as well. The engines are also a very nice build. Uh, definitely a bit more substantial than previous models. And the landing gear is nothing new. It just flips right up. So now you can fly away into battle. And just leave my review. But um, don't, don't do that. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it for features. Uh, so I'll just show you the wings, a uh, nice little sloping and detailing, like the little grill pieces. This one is identical except for the Republic emblem and the tail fin is nice and secure because on some, um, other Jedi Starfighter mo models, not Anakin's, uh, as far as I know, but this is pretty loose, but I do like how they secured it. And, uh, some nice sloping on the side. I do like that. And, uh, yeah, overall, just a really nice build. There are some gaps uh, where the wings uh, kind of meet the fuselage, I want to call it. But there's really no way to avoid that unless you extend this by a plate, but then the wings would have to drop, and it would just look really weird. So, I think they did the best they could do. Uh, landing gear is not up correctly. Um, I think they did the best they could do with the gaps and slopes and things like that. So, overall, I think this looks really nice. My only complaint is that you have to rest it on a hard surface. His other models had landing gear on either wing. This one just has this, which means this is very unstable. Just the slightest little tap, and you can just start rocking back and forth. So I do wish it had the landing gear on the wings. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Probably is. But I don't know why they decided to get rid of it, uh, but I wish they had it. So that is it for the Jedi Starfighter. i uh, just point out some sloping on the bottom here. So overall, I feel like this is a very nice little model. I have to admit, at $25, it's, I mean, it's not a bad deal. I was just a little skeptic on whether or not I would actually like this set. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. I liked the color scheme, uh, I liked the figures, I liked the sloping, I, the build was actually pretty fun. So, if you're like me and, you're, and you are skeptic uh, going into buying this set, I would recommend it. If you're a fan of the Clone Wars, or the prequels, or Anakin, I would highly recommend this set. Even if you have the 2008 model, uh, which I don't, so I'm, I'm just kind of speaking from how the pictures of the 2008 one look. But I do feel like this is a good upgrade from the 2008 model, and I would recommend getting this uh, if you don't have the 2008, or if you have the 2008 or, and are looking for an upgrade. So, uh, yeah, I think that is it for this set. I have said that I like it, but I will say it again. I really like this set, and you guys can let me know what you think of this set by leaving a comment down below, or by voting in the card in the top right-hand corner of the video. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please click that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell and leave a like. And as always, share the video and feel free to click on the end screens to be taken to another video of mine that I think you will enjoy. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye.